just a quick video hey guys hey hey everybody just a quick video to wish myself a happy birthday i i had a great birthday back a few weeks ago maybe uh yeah two or three weeks when it was really my birthday my uh my lovely wife did a great job of getting me all kinds of fancy gifts and i came to visit some family members at my uh uh, alternate stack location here. I don't know if anybody guessed from my previous video uh, where that location might be, uh, but it might have a lot to do with the source of the whiskey that I'm drinking tonight. Uh, on to my second. Cheers, y'all. So this was the, the belated birthday present that had been waiting for me. The, the rattle and snap. Uh, fine American whiskey from the Log Still Distillery. And uh, let me get Star Wars out of the way here. The uh, the Rattle and Snap, the Log Still Brewery, if you want to zoom in and read the uh, little bit of information that we have there, um, more, more power to you. But this is the great part. Make your own luck. You barely see it on the front label, but look at their slogan. Make your own luck. I don't know, this is almost an Irish whiskey that's migrated to America. But uh, the forgotten southern game of chance is the namesake of our select brand of truly American spirits. I don't really know what any of that means, but it sounds pretty Irish to me. Anyway, I'm quite enjoying this small batch American crafted whiskey aged four years this is the real good stuff. Four years. Now, if you know a little bit about whiskey, you know that anything over about three months old uh, goes beyond moonshine and becomes whiskey. Now, I'm just kidding. I've got some beautiful 18-year-old, uh, even 24-year-old scotch that I'm very partial to. And there's only one or two Irish whiskeys that I really enjoy. But there's many, many, many American whiskeys and bourbons that I enjoy very much. So thank you for that. I think you all know that uh, the Bison Trace, the American Bison Trace Bourbon Whiskey is my favorite. Uh, and the final piece to this gift was this whiskey decanter, which is in itself quite nice. I don't, am I focus here? I don't know if I've got focus. This was a nice gift. I'm going to go ahead and gently pull this out so you can see it. Because it's not just a whiskey decanter, which is quite nice. Um, I'm not even going to take. I'm not even going to take the top out. This is a super heavy glass top, and it's going to have to travel in the next few days. So I'm going to leave it packaged up in that. But I will show you if you take a look at the the uh, picture here. If my, my lighting will uh, cooperate. You can see that's a solid glass top in this decanter. So it stays well sealed under its own weight. Uh, but my problem is that after a couple of whiskeys, if I take this top and try and put it back in the hole, as you can see, this is a very, very, very fine glass. And I just think that there's a lot of risk of damage going on here. So I think I'm going to find a cork that might fit this. But what I wanted to show you, this is the reason I'm making such a big deal about this. Because often, and it's going to be very hard for you to see this, often though, a, a gift has got a lot to do with... I don't know if I can turn these lights off. Um... You can see there's some writing on here. It says whiskey improves with age and I improve with whiskey, right? Whiskey improves with age and I improve with whiskey. I'm not quite sure that that's poetry. But my daughter, who's quite the uh, artist and artisan, has been doing a lot of different arts and crafts and she actually hand etched this glass on this decanter. So everything that you see here that's etched that she made for me 
including this is not really a whiskey glass and, and actually I've got condensation on it so you know what I've got to turn this light off there's got to be a way let me let me mess with my technology here nope can't do it I'm not going to stop the video because then I've got to edit it and patch it together and so on so we'll just have to live with the bad lighting but you can see I'm going to look in the back of the glass where there's no condensation this entire glass is hand etched with stripes right and she did that too she etching the glass it's a little skill that you can learn on YouTube I'm sure I am going to open the top I'm going to because there's one more piece that uh, I packaged this up for the, the long journey, the long arduous journey back to my northern stack, my 